All right, gentlemen. We went over the rules in the dressing room. I want good sportsmanlike conduct. Obey my commands at all times. I want a clean fight from both of you. Understood? You understood, Andrew? Lennox? Okay, touch him up. Can the foul pole become a fair pole and become a force in the heavyweight division? Can the true Brit show true grit <laughs> and get the respect that he craves? The stare down was good. The stare down was real. They know each other pretty well by now, Roy. They had one of those lengthy press tours. They've spent day after day with each other. And it's a cliche, of course, but I don't think they particularly okay, like go. each other. I don't think so either. Well, one has what the other one wants. And the other one wants it badly. Who will land the first heavy punch between these two power punchers? Lewis starting off with a jab. Emmanuel Stewart claiming his fighter's jab is quicker and better than ever before. tentative at the outset then he appeared to be against Riddick Bow. Lewis lands a right hand over the top. Lewis stands in the corner and Galata lets him stand. And they spin back out into center ring. in the heavyweight division showed what we meant against this 244 pound giant. I don't think Galata ever recovered from the first big right hand that Lewis landed. No, I don't think he did either. When Lewis lands, gave, gets time to land that big right hand, it usually means trouble. When he hit Galata, Galata was not ready for it and it took a bad effect on him. And remember that Lewis had been saying all along he didn't want to give Galata a chance to land low blows. And the way to do that was to get to him early and hurt him early. There's nothing more definitive than what we just saw. It's certainly the most definitive, defining knockout in the heavyweight division since Mike Tyson was a young and dominant fighter. Since June of 1988, when Tyson here knocked out Michael Spinks in 91 seconds, that's the last time you saw this definitive a statement in the heavyweight division. This was similar to what Roy Jones did to Montel Griffin. And, and Roy, you can identify with, with when it wells up in you over and over for years. You want this. Lennox wanted it so badly, and he got it. Yes, he did, and it's very good to see Lennox back like this. Here's the first overhand right. And Galata was hurt from that, and then the left hook. And Emmanuel Stewart has been saying all along, hey, don't focus only on my fighter's right hand. That left hook is pretty heavy, too. 
First knockdown coming here. And Galata just with no defense against Lewis's power shots. Yeah, but you also see Lewis putting shots together here, like I said earlier, that he stopped doing. He throws the one, two, came back with another one, two, and came back with even another one, two. That's how Lennox Lewis got to be what Lennox Lewis was. You know, no fighter in the heavyweight division has had more criticism heaped on him by reporters, particularly American reporters, in the past several years than Lennox Lewis. But through it all, not too many guys wanted to fight him. Not too many guys were stepping up and saying, well, let me have a shot at Lennox Lewis. No. And here's the reason why. Yeah, they, because they knew the talent that Lennox possessed. It's just that he was hurt badly by the mishap on the Riddick Bowe situation. When he didn't... When he didn't get a chance to prove himself against Riddick Bowe, that hurt Lennox Lewis. And every American critic presumed that Riddick Bowe was the better fighter than Lennox Lewis, but Galata's whole reputation was based on his two trips with Bowe, and off of this you have to say, well, how much was that? How good was Bowe? Well, that goes to show you. And I don't think it was that Bo was bad either. It's just that Bo really didn't take this fight serious because he too cheated himself when he didn't fight Lennox Lewis when the fight was at prime time. Another look at the intense first round destruction of Andrew Galata by the thunderous punches of Lennox Lewis. And that usually means that a guy is back. Well, there's a statement. If you were wondering if the winner of tonight's fight could make a definitive statement that would put him in line as the obvious public challenger to the winner of Holyfield Moore, there it was. Here's Ladies Michael Buffer. Gentlemen, the end comes at 1 minute 35 seconds of the very first round. Referee Joe Cortez calls the fight to an end. The winner and still WBC heavyweight champion of the world, the prize.